And I want to talk to you briefly from the subject. God will work a miracle for you. God will work a miracle for you. Isn't it good to know that? And at the very beginning of this message, I want you to put your name on a miracle. Yes. Put your name on a miracle right now. The first thing that you do to put your name on a miracle is to think of the miracle that you need, the miracle that you want. You know, the number one reason why people don't get what they want is because they don't know what they want too many times. And sometimes when people know what they want, they're afraid to even say it. Well, I would like to have such and such a thing, but get that but out of the way. <laughs> I preached a sermon about that once. Get your but out of the way. And I'm talking about the conjunction but, <laughs> as well as the other one. <laughs> get all of the buts out of the way. You see, that's what happened with people. They just butt their miracles away from them. They butt their blessings away from them because they don't say what they want. I say that right now, you and I can put our name on a miracle. I know in my heart the miracle that I want. Is there anybody in this congregation that wants a miracle? If you do, raise your hands and say, I want a miracle. I and once again, raise your hands and say, I know the miracle that I want from God. I, know the miracle I, want from God. I am naming the miracle that I want from God. I am naming and claiming the miracle that I want from God. You watching by television, name and claim the miracle that you need. If you want to get unhung from your hang-ups of sin and drugs and alcohol, name your miracle. Claim your miracle in Jesus' name because God is still working miracles. The text that I shall use today is from the book of Acts. The theologians call it the Acts of the Apostles. But these are not the acts of the apostles. These are the acts of the Holy Spirit. The acts of the Holy Spirit through the apostles. You know, if you just open your mind and open your heart, the Holy Spirit will act in you and through you and as you and unhang you from your hang-ups. The 19th chapter of Acts, the 11th, and 12 verses. Repeat after me as I shall pause. And God, and God wrought special miracles, wrought special miracles by, the by the hands of Paul so that from his body were brought unto the sick, sick. handkerchiefs, or aprons, apron. and the diseases departed from them, and the, from them. And the evil spirits, and the evil spirits went, out went out of them. You may be seated. I read that verse of scripture to let you know that God is in the miracle working business. Say that with me. God is in the miracle working business. God is in the I had a lady dispute that once. She said, Reverend Ike, the days of miracles are past. God doesn't work miracles anymore. I said, my dear lady, why is it that you say that the days of miracles are past? She said, because God worked miracles through the apostles. But the apostles are all dead 
and miracles died with the apostles. <laughs> Religious lady. She had her little pamphlets. But her religion taught her that God does not work miracles anymore. That's why you've got to watch religion. I mean, if you're not careful, religion will do you in and will do you out of the miracles that you need. If you're not careful, religion will do you out of the blessings of God that you need. And she insisted again, God does not work miracles anymore today because the apostles are dead and miracles died with the apostles. About that time, I stood up and got my lungs full of holy breath. And I said, Madam, the apostles may be dead. St. Peter may be dead. St. Paul may be dead. But God Almighty is still alive. And because he lives, I can have a miracle. Because God lives, you can have a miracle. The miracle working power is not dependent upon any of the apostles who have gone off. But the same Holy Spirit, the same God, the same Jesus, the same Christ that worked in the apostles will work miracles in you and through you and for you right here, right now. A miracle may be defined as an instance of divine intervention. An instance of divine intervention. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, somewhere, sometime, someplace in your life, you're going to need to let God in to do something miraculous for you. And somewhere out there, watching on television right now, there's a man, there's a woman, there's a boy, there's a girl listening to me. You need help. You need a miracle from God. You need help beyond human understanding, beyond human power. And we are here to tell you today that if you believe, God will work a miracle for you. Say with me today, you can have a miracle of salvation. And one good thing about this miracle of salvation, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter how low you have sunk. God's arm is not short that he cannot save. God can reach way down into that hell that you're in. And he can pick you up. And as the old Negro spiritual says, he came all the way down. All the way down, Lord, all the way down, Lord, took my feet out of the mountain there. Now that song means that the power, the presence of God are present with you no matter where you are, no matter if you're at the pig pen like the prodigal son. God's love reaches you at the pig pen. Amen. God's love reaches you on skin row. And if you accept it within your own soul, it will take your feet out the miry clay. Aren't you glad about that today? He came all the way down, Lord. All the way down, Lord.
Everybody stand up and say, he took my feet out the miry clay. Took my feet out the miry clay. Don't sit down yet. Can I preach a little bit? Some people need a miracle of salvation because they're stuck. Come on and say, yeah. yeah. Some of you are stuck in witchcraft. Some of you sophisticated folks are saying, not me, Reverend Ike, I'm not superstitious. Yeah, you're stuck in astrology. Your Pluto is crossed up in your moss. You stuck too? You need a miracle of salvation? Your Virgo is crisscrossing your sun in the wrong direction. You need a miracle of salvation. You know he took my feet out the miry clay. to me before you sit down. You, 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 you can have, have a miracle of salvation, salvation from, God. from God. You who are mixed up in drugs, mixed up in alcohol, stuck in the bad habits of life, you can have a miracle. You can have a miracle. A miracle of salvation. Be seated and let me finish here. Because he took my Yes, God will work a miracle for you to loose you from anything that binds you. You can have a miracle of healing in your soul, in your mind, and in your body, if you believe in the power and the presence of God in you. Yes, and you can have a miracle from God of getting your youth renewed. You don't have to get old and feeble because the world mind has programmed you to get old and feeble. You can have the miracle of eternal youth. And you don't have to die to get in the land where you never grow old. The land where you never grow old is the consciousness of God. Once you know who God is in you and who you are in God, age won't affect you anymore. You will have the miracle of eternal youth. Somebody say the miracle of eternal youth. The miracle of eternal youth. Say it again. The miracle of God will work a miracle for you. God will work a miracle of success and prosperity for you. Do you know that God didn't put you here to be a flop? God didn't put you here to be a failure? Say that in the first person. God didn't put me here to be a flop. God didn't put me here to be a failure. God intends for you to be a success. God intends for you to be prosperous. In the letter of the Apostle John, the Lord states his intention for his people and says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you might prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. 
The master Jesus said, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things shall be added unto you. God didn't put you here to be a failure or a flop. Believe in the Christ in you. Believe in the God in you. Believe God for a miracle of success and prosperity. Right here. Right now. Last of all, and many of you are waiting for this, God will work a financial miracle for you. Let me translate it into simple street vernacular, if you please. God will work a money miracle for you. I want you to touch yourself and tell yourself that in the first person. God will work a money miracle for me. Come on. God will work a money miracle for me. Let me remind you again that a miracle is ready to happen to you. Let's all stand and Jimmy Wynn, the choir and the singers and the congregation of thousands here are going to sing with us hallelujah anyhow. to do this week don't you if a problem comes your way what are you going to do Hallelujah. Woo! can I shout a little bit going to let the mess in the world get me down. I'm not going to let the bad news get me down. See ya. I'm not going to let discouragement get me down. I'm going to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not going to let other people's negative opinions get me down. I don't care what you think about me. I don't care what you say about me. I'm not your opinion anyway. Hallelujah. Anyhow. As the old spiritual says, I'm going through. How many of you are going through? How many of you are going through today? How many of you know the blessing that God has for you? And you're going all the way. Hallelujah. Anyhow.
Get loud.